Okay, before I put this rear end outside, I'm going to check the gear ratio to see what it is. So when I go to sell it, I'll know what it is. So anyway, what I've done here is I put a mark on the uh, on the yoke and on the housing, and I've also put alignment marks on on the uh, drum and the backing plate on both sides. One side too. And then we're going to turn those one complete turn drums. And while we're doing that, we're going to count how many turns this this makes, and that'll give us the gear ratio. So, anyways, let's uh, see how this goes. Start. Now this one drum is dragging a bit, so I gotta push these both at the same time. So that's one turn. That's three. Three, and it looks like about a third of a turn. So three. If it was a quarter, if it was back here, that would be 0.25. And then, so we go another th a little bit further. So I would say from the top to there, that's about a third of a turn. So we're looking at a gear ratio of three point, let's just say 3.33 for now. And uh, it could be 3.35 or something right in around that range. And I'll look it up in the uh, on the internet and see what ratios that car came out with. Because this came out of a, a 57 Pontiac four-door with a 283 automatic in it for originally. And uh, so that would have been a power glide. Now, when I had the car, it had a three-speed with a floor shift in it. And I was 16 when I bought that car. But this rear end has served me well. So uh, let's put it up for sale and see what we can get. Okay, something else I'm going to do while I have this handy here. So I'm going to measure the width of it, flange to flange. Or actually, backing plate to backing plate. So that um, I suppose I could do flange to flange if I can so see. Yeah, this will work. Go you know, across from drum to drum so the flange is right in there. Say 60 inches. Somebody want to hold this tape so I can get this down down the other end here. It looks like Yeah, 60 inches, flange to flange. Let's go uh, back and plate the back and plate. And fifty-four and a half. We'll go for 54 and a half, back and plate the back and plate. That quite often is the most important because uh, you have to clear your the inner frame rails and your inner fenders and 
if your tire sticks out a little bit past the fender, that could be an issue too. But uh, anyway, so let's go and write this down before I forget. 54 and a half. Okay, one thing I wanted to do before I put this uh, rear end in is I want to check the gear ratio. Double check it anyways, because uh, when I bought it, the guy that I bought it from told me that it was a 373 ratio and it's a limited slip. So what I've done is I've put marks on the backing plate and the drum on both sides and uh, one on the um, pinion yoke and we're going to turn it. We get one turn, complete turn out of both brake drums and then we'll figure, count the ones we, we do uh, on the pinion and uh, try and figure it out from there and, uh, just to verify that, that it is a 373. So here we go. Now with both drums turned together at the same time that kind of confirms that it is a limited slip because an open rear end quite often one one drum will turn in the opposite direction when you're when you're turning it and uh, or only one will turn and the other one uh, will stay still so anyways let's go and check it out so here we go one Two. Three. Okay, here comes the mark. Down. And you know what? I would say that's a three five O. Oh. See I've got a half turn on here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, see where the marks are there, the marks are there, and this one here, so we go down. Okay, that's lined up, those two are lined up, this one's out half a turn. So this is a 350 axle, and uh, you see how, how we calculate that this a half a half turn. A three seven three would have put it probably in about a position like that. The three five oh if it had been here would be three two five. And if it had come to this point and everything lined up, that would be a three point oh but uh, so we're at three five. That's still that's still uh, satisfactory. I was kind of hoping for the three seven three, but uh, th it'll still be fine for what I'm using it for. Anyways, that's how you uh, calculate your gear ratio without ripping things apart to check numbers on on ring gears and stuff. So, anyways, we're ready to shove this under there and. Uh, Try and button up the U-bolts. <laughs> 